Hey, so before we actually start writing queries and exploring the Django RM, I will show you this uh, extension or app called Django Debug Toolbar. It will really help us uh, understand everything we wrote and it will help you uh, in the future to like profile in uh, slow endpoints so you can fix them. So let's actually just to start. So first thing you need to install uh, the Django Debug Toolbar like this and let's do it so let me open powershell let's activate a virtual environment so go to bnv scripts um, act, activate now let's just paste this here you can see right okay now after this the only thing you need to do is or something we need to do is Python pip or dash m pip freeze the requirements and yeah we have it so now we will just follow the documentation and uh, in this video I will show you just how this actually works behind the scenes so it tells you that you need to have these two apps and added to your installed apps and uh, we have that in our settings uh, the static files are already there so we just need to add the Django debug toolbar any place in the installed apps now we need to add this path into our URLs so let's come here and you can actually put here any path you want the only uh, requirement that it, it does not uh, collide with any one of your URLs so let's actually import the debug toolbar and just add path debug and include I think I'll just copy paste yeah <laughs> like this now you also need to add this middleware middlewares are like functions that be that will be executed like before the request actually reaches your view or after it so these are middlewares if you don't know about them uh, maybe I think at some point we will actually come to them in this series, but uh, you need to add it here for the debug toolbar to work. Now the final thing you need to add this uh, internal IVs into your settings. I will go down and add this. Of course, this IV means localhost. Now it should work. So let's actually run the server. So Python manage run server. And let's go to the users, then login. We should see it here. So as you can see, it will tell that, tells us a lot of useful stuff. Uh, the time took this request. Uh, this is every the settings that we have, uh, the headers, the request, and something I like. It will tells us the view that this request uh, reaches, which is very nice, especially when you are trying to figure out a new code base. Uh, this is very important the SQL queries and I think there is an extension for Mongo as well It will add a, a Mongo panel. So this is very important. This is the static files being served uh, This is the template and This template actually comes from the REST framework as you can see this uh, like screen and By the way the Django debug toolbar obviously will only work if you are serving HTML So let's actually try to log in with uh, any user here. It does not matter so and let's go here we will see we have now one query let's open it and we can actually expand it here this is the query that Django would run to make sure this user exists in our database and first it will check by email and if not exist this user is not here so yeah that's the basic idea behind the Django debug toolbar now let me show you how actually it works so first thing you need always to serve HTML there is a uh, in Django views or then there is uh, Django framework views something called the renderer and it will always like control what you render or what you return so usually if you want to see this the Django debug toolbar you will return an HTML containing this default like uh, template from the Django REST framework and your response will be here so that's something uh, you should always remember and it's obvious but I'll just say it and now if you hit refresh you will see that, uh, that this actually requires or this actually imports all of these or most of them it will actually import jQuery 
which actually is now inside of our uh, like virtual environment it's one of the requirements and it will actually import also this um, I think I think this will actually comes from the template um, bootstrap also from the template um, oh yeah this is the CSS for the Django debug toolbar that's why you need to have actually an HTML page so this could actually work um, yeah as you can see this is the JavaScript for it and if you are wondering why we added actually this like URL this is where like the information in these will come from so that's why you need to add it let me show you so I will clear everything this now click on SQL as you can see what it will send an HTTP request to this URL that we defined debug then add to this so it will actually get the exact uh, profiler for this input so if we actually copy this and go for it you will see this uh, response HTML like response so yeah maybe this is not useful but this is how it will work and uh, this is why you added every you added this URL yeah I thought I would just record it really fast how we can add this uh, debug toolbar and how it works so when we start writing queries I'm gonna show you now we will focus on this like panel and uh, I will explaining eager loading lazy loading uh, n plus one problem in RMs and by the way these are checkboxes you can check them and uh, refresh the page so it will actually not calculate the cache or signals and profiling is something really important so let's refresh after clicking on profiling now it will tells you the whole call stack oops let me close this yeah profiling it will tell you the whole call stack which is very nice you can sometimes uh, something that actually helped me in the past this count uh, I remember we have an endpoint that have like thousands like some function have been called a thousand times or something like this so it helps us identify where is the issue in that endpoint um, yeah that's basically it and uh, we'll continue the next video by querying the database. Bye.